My name is Malin and I'm about to fall over. And in this video, I'm going over a guide to holistic workouts. So I've worked out for five years now and I've learned a lot of things, you know, originally I got into it from soccer because, you know, in soccer, it's important to move well. And I kind of um, did this high performance training program where you move and do this plyometric exercise and exercises and that sort of stuff but then as well as that I've gone into building muscle and you know trying to look good and be confident and that kind of thing so I've had quite this big expensive kind of idea and experience with my workouts and I've really experimented a lot with it and find found all sorts of different things that kind of work for me and like whatever your goals are you know you want to find out what works for you and what you want you know do you just want to be able to move well do you want to build more muscle do you want to look more confident do you want to shape your body and for a lot of people um they want to lose fat and just look better i don't know a lot about that because i've always been on the skinnier side and i've always been worried about building muscle and feeling and moving good so if that sounds good for you then this video will probably suit you so what does exercise mean to me Exercise is kind of being in touch with your body, understanding how your body works and having a sense of satisfaction in moving your body and feeling stronger and fluent in your body or fluid. And for me, it's helped build a lot of confidence and discipline in myself, you know, sticking to workouts, trying to eat healthier and better and just seeing the progress go and seeing me build muscle and actually seeing that I could change things. And that was such a massive step and change for me because I never thought that I could change. I never thought that I could really grow. You know, I thought, oh, this is just what I'm stuck with. This is how I'm going to live. But I did get pushed, you know, I did get a few kind of comments because I was very skinny and a lot of people would kind of comment on that. And of course I didn't feel bad about it. I, f I felt bad about it and I took it badly, but I didn't really understand and I wasn't aware that I could change and do something to change it and that, you know, I didn't have to live being called skinny and feeling bad about it all this time. I wasn't even aware of that, but through working out, I developed more confidence and saw that I could actually change and make a change for my life and that opened up my perspective so much. And, you know, for me, what exercise should be something that's simple and it should be something that's enjoyable because... You know, a lot of people kind of say, especially in the masculine kind of sphere, it's like all about just building muscle and being the biggest and lifting the heaviest weights. And you probably notice that I'm, I'm not the biggest guy, you know, I've been working out for quite a while and I still want to be bigger and I'm not perfect, but I've put a lot of work into it and I still want to continue and do it. And I have built confidence in myself, not the confidence that is reliant on having a big body, but the confidence that... I can change myself and that I have an internal sense that no one else can take away from me, that I, I'm Malin and I'm confident in who I am and what I've done. So as I said, for me, it's important to build muscle and feel and look good. And for that, it's important to have like a full range of motion when you do exercises. So first thing that kind of comes to mind for me is just a dip, which I use this backward treadmill which is from the ATG system, which I've found beneficial because I've had kind of bad knees from soccer, you know, I've had a few niggles and kind of injuries that just keep coming back. But anyway, as I was talking about with full range of motion, you know, you could just do partial reps like this and it kind of feels good and you could probably go a bit heavier and you could probably, you know, feel okay with that and still get quite a good pump. But if you're only working in this range, then as soon as anywhere in life you go into a deeper range, you're, you're trying to pull yourself up somewhere or just anything like that, any sort of position where you have to pull yourself up somewhere from a little bit further, or that's the only example that I can think of at the moment. But you wouldn't be as strong in these motions, like you wouldn't probably wouldn't have the range of motion to be able to pull yourself up from this position. Whereas if you're training with a full range of motion, not only are you getting a deeper stretch in your muscle and you're getting a bigger contraction, so you're putting more load on the muscle, but you're also adding mobility in. 
so you're more mobile and able to move a lot more freely so that when you go into life you're okay getting into these sort of positions and you're more fluid and that kind of thing and this is just an example with the dip you know and this could be applied to anything like the ATG split squat you know this seems like a very extreme kind of movement, you know, you're doing such a deep lunge and we don't get into that quite often, but this really stretches like out our hip flexors and in our modern lives, we are sitting down so much. So this is such a big help to people to have this fuller range of motion. So you feel confident, confident and comfortable here, but also you're putting some pressure into your knee and a lot of people think that this is a bad thing, you know, you don't ever have your knees over your toes. But if you have a, never have your knees over your toes, you're never building strength into your knee. You're not stretching the tendons, you're not getting a deep stretch, you're not fully contracting and stretching this quad muscle out. And you're leaving a lot of gains and mobility on the table because if you're not able to do that and you only squat like this, then you're much more stiff. Uh, that was an exaggeration, but whenever your knees go under a, a load of stress, you, more of that pressure is gonna be going through your knees and your knees are not prepared to do that. If you haven't been doing a full stretch, so it's getting more blood flow and it's getting strengthened through that. And it's just more beneficial to have a full range of motion for so many things, you know, build muscle, help you with mobility, just all these kind of things. Sorry, I got a bit passionate there. Um, and for my workouts, a lot of people schedule them. Like they'll say, oh, I'm doing a push pull legs or I'm doing an upper lower split. And I'll do it on Monday, I'll do my upper. On Tuesday, I'll do my lower. On Thursday, I'll do my upper two. And then my Friday, I'll do my lower two. And I've tried this and it is quite good and it can kind of work, but some days you don't feel like doing it and some days your muscles are kind of sore and you know not every tuesday is the best day to do a lower day so if you're always stuck in this rigid kind of schedule then you're not fluid you're not able to change and you're not going to enjoy the workouts as much and what i've found is that i've tried all these different programs and when i'm most consistent is when i am working out kind of intuitively with my body like oh, you know, my arms are kind of sore today and my whoop says my recovery is low, so I probably shouldn't do my legs. I could maybe do a bit of shoulders and forearms. Or maybe like today, my recovery is quite high. The last couple of days I've done arms because my recovery score has been a bit lower. So I could do legs and I can really go at it and give my full attention to it rather than just being solely focused on subjective and just doing whatever I feel like. I also have the whoop so then I have an objective kind of view on how much sleep I should be getting on how much I should be working and how hard I should be working which is another important thing and also with this kind of adaptive schedule is that you know I can work out pretty much every day and feel fine and feel great about it and I love that like for me I love being able to work out more because the more I do it the better I feel about myself and my body and also the more kind of gains that you can be getting from it. So how I usually do my workouts is I usually start with a backwards treadmill, which is why I'm getting my shoes on, because you really shouldn't be doing it with bare feet, even though I like, I prefer wearing bare feet. And that's, that's another thing that I personally like is having something that's more natural and just, yeah, just having something that's more natural rather than having your feet crammed into shoes. I've always preferred barefoot shoes. But, you know, exercise doesn't have to be working hard and lifting hard weights if that's not what you want. And it's also important not just to lift heavy and do these kind of things, but to warm up before you work out, which is beneficial. But also, as I said, with the full range of motion, if you're doing a full range of motion exercises, you're able to get into those positions a lot more easily and without having to warm up as much. Like your body can do it. Like I didn't warm up before this video and I could do 
this quite comfortably and go through full range of dips. But as I was saying, you know, it's important not just to lift weights, lift heavy weights and whatever, but to also do something that's good for your heart because that's also a part of your body and it's important to have a good cardiovascular system and that sort of thing. And for that, it could be just simple, something simple as walking, doing a treadmill, this backward treadmill or a normal treadmill or going for a run or using the sled like in the ATG system. But there's a lot more things that I could go into and this was kind of just a general overview of the things. You know, like have a warm up when you do your exercises, do it full range of motion. If you want to build muscle, draw it towards failure. A lot of these things are very simple and they're spoken about quite a lot. So I think they don't need to be as emphasized as other things, you know, like eat enough food, get a lot of protein in, and you know, it can be beneficial to track your macros and have kind of scheduled meals and see how much daily expenditure you have. And then also there's like kind of the mentality point, which I touched on a bit about me having confidence and gaining more confidence through working out and that sort of thing. But anyway, I think this was kind of an introduction video into my workouts. In the future, I'll probably go into more exercises that I like and kind of my plans and ideas and other things, because this is something that I've kind of put off a bit, but it's something that I'm getting back into more and delving into it a lot more. And I think that it's an important part of life and something that I find makes my life better. Anyway, I feel like I've probably on a bit too much there. And anyway, I'm Malin and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.